all right everyone welcome again to algo Vritti. in today's video we are going to leverage 5 pesa api for algo trading here is the agenda for today's video first we explore api documentation of 5 pesa api. then we will see how we can create api key in 5 pesa after getting this api key we will try to authenticate ourselves and then after authentication we create login objects so that we can easily access their various method like to place order or get historical data now let's start with our first topic that is explore their api documentation and for this i am writing here 5 pesa api and now we get a link as this documentation let me open this and here you can see different segment like this is for document fundamental then we have fund management then we have market data order management order tracking portfolio management then user authentication and here they provide their api kit in different language like if you want to do your algo development in a java language you can use this kit or node.js for this kit this is for c sharp and this one is for python in this video we are going to explore this python kit all right and if you scroll a bit here you can see how to use our api so let me click on this link and it will redirect you to another page and let me click on this algo trading api and you can see here there are five api for market data system maybe the first one is to get historical data then second one is for get the live data that is tick by tick then another api may be to get the bid and ask price so in that way we will have five api for market data system now then comes order management we have total three api like uh, first one is for to get the order book second one is for to get the trade book and third one is for to get the trade confirmation from websocket and then in order tracking system we have four apis like first one is to place the order then to cancel the order modify the order and last to track the order status all right and next we have api for portfolio management system in this we have api like to check our fund to check our margin and all of this okay lastly we have a two api for user authentication so in this way we will explore these api one by one in upcoming video all right now first of all let's create our api key which is the most important part and for this i am going to click on this button which is generate api key and here you can see your app name your user id your api key i am hiding this because of this information are confidential so please do not share it let me show you what are the things you will find here we will get app name you can see here we have our app name then we have user id then we have app source then our password our user key then encryption key now after getting this key I want to create a dictionary from this so let me write like cred is equal to and then let me close the bracket and then let me add some more keys here like client code then m pin then totp key to find this totp key let me write like five pesa and then login into their trading terminal here under this our profile section you will find this totp let me click on this and here you will find a button here like enable external totp i already enable it that is why it is showing here disable when we click on this button to enable totp you will get a qr code and below the qr code you will find a 24 character of alphanumeric code and this code is your totp so what you need to do you have to copy this code and paste here in place of totp under double quote i hope now you will get all these key if you have any confusion i request you to please watch this video once again now let me put actual value here to make login into my 5 pesa account i have uh, given here my actual value like uh, value for application name then application source then user id then password like this okay after mentioning this value i want to save this file as keys.py and then i have run this keys.py 
py file as you can see here this key.py file has executed successfully this is how we place our key for user authentication all right to create login object we need to go back on api documentation page and then open this python kit and it will redirect you to a, a github page where all the packages or all the code are placed and if you scroll down this is the 5 pesa python sdk which give features like order placement modification cancellation then we can fetch user information including their holdings their position margin their trade book if you want to place or modify or delete a bucket order we can also do then we can also fetch the order status whether the order is open or close or, or what is the current position of any order we can fetch this also then finally we can get the live streaming data using websocket so all of this feature we can avail using this pi 5 pesa library so first of all we need to import this library i have already installed it in our ide using this pip command all right now let's authenticate ourselves and create a login session using this 5 pesa library and as you can see here i have imported this 5 pesa client method from pi 5 pesa library and then i have imported one more method totp so that we can log in automatically without any human intervention and then i have imported this key file from key import credential which we have created here in keys.py file then we have imported our client id then m pin then totp key okay you can directly set this value in this file also but for security purpose i have created another file and try to import from here let me run these three line of code so that you will have some idea as you can see these three lines are successfully initialized after this what i have did here i am creating this client code then m pin right let me run these two line also and you can see here this client code and m pin are successfully initialized now here comes a crucial part to make automatic login this line will helpful to generate our totp key actually totp key is nothing but a six digit pin which will change frequently and this line of code will give us a new totp key for every run like if i run this line of code you will see a six digit pin here let me print this also okay let me print it and you can see now we have a six digit pin like this which we will use while creating our login session so after getting this totp key we need to create login object and for this let me call this method like five pesa client and pass all the credential which we have created here all of these things we need to pass here now after uh, getting this login object we need to create our session so that we can automatically uh, connect with our trading terminal so let me run these two line of code here and you will receive a success message that your session is successfully created all right it is complaining as you will have invalid totp i have run this key.py file again and now let me run this line of code you will see this time we have a new otp pin like this and our login session is created successfully with this message why we are seeing the error message earlier because that earlier totp key was expired that is why it is giving invalid totp and this time we run this line of code in one go that is why our totp is valid and we successfully logged in all right now we have created this login object now let's see what is the use of this so with the help of login object we can get market data whether it is live market data or whether it is historical we can get that we can fetch the user information also like the portfolio information the holdings the available margin, and all those things we can fetch easily and we can also place a market order not only market order we can place different type of order using this login object so basically login object is nothing but an entry point for our program all right guys now it's time to wrap up because i don't want to stress this video length in our upcoming video we will see use of these things okay
I will make a separate video to get the market data, then a separate video for this order management API, then another video to track this order system. All right. Again, if you found this video helpful, please do not forget to subscribe Algo Vritti or give a thumbs up on this video. If you want to develop Elgo for your trading strategy, you can reach out us at elgovritti at the gmail.com or you can connect with us using this telegram link. Now, thank you for watching. See you in the next video.